Hi, once again, Vera Shop. Friends, I hope you're very well wherever you are in the world. Um, it is the 10th show of the season, so we are into the double digits now. I can't believe that it's already been 10 weeks already that we've been doing this. You know, time goes by so fast when you're having fun. Um, very special episode today. We're going to be doing a recap over the last three shows for the past three weeks. And so we'll be talking about some of the products which I, I've been a little bit more preferential to. So um, we've, uh, we've got a very special guest as well coming up, uh, my wonderful, multi-talented co-host, Adrienne. Um, and hopefully, by the process of technology, I'm going to be able to add her into the show at some point very, very soon. So this has never been done before. Um, this is a, a, a world first on the, on the Veroshop app. So let's give it a go. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. But as I said, we've got a very exciting show coming up for the next half an hour. And once again, I'm always very appreciative for you guys to be joining me right here, right now. Uh, bear in mind for the products that we're speaking about today, there's an extra 15% off, which is the uh, live stream deal. So uh, please do stay tuned because those products will be coming up on the screen very shortly. Hi, Adri. Uh, you're not on just yet, but I'm going to try and add you now. So hopefully this works. I think I've worked this out. Okay, I'm, I've requested. Okay, I'm waiting for you to accept now. Hopefully this works. Oh my gosh, it has worked. Five. Adri, you can hear me. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. This is this is amazing. Sorry, I'm like a little like crazy. I went for a run um, before it starts to rain. Um, it was so beautiful this morning, and now it's like getting gray. So I took like a quick shower, and I'm like all fluffy and not as cute as before. But you know, it's no, no. I think you look <laughs> gorgeous. And actually, I was because obviously you did your live stream before your show before, and I was going to say about your hair looks wonderful. I know you said you had a haircut. <laughs> No, I did cut it myself, um, so I don't know. I don't think I did too bad of a job, but you know. No, it looks lovely. I, I think it's also you know you always talk about matcha tea in your show, so oh, I... perhaps it's down to the matcha tea that the the locks are looking very luscious. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm excited yeah. to hear what uh, we have to talk about today. So, what's going on? Oh well, Adria, I've got a very exciting live stream show for you today. As you know, it's uh, it's an episode recap, um, and we'll be talking about some of the products that obviously I featured in my past couple of live streams. So these are certainly my my top picks, I would say. Um, yeah, and I'm very excited for you to be joining me here on the app to talk about them with me. So is today going to be um, a history lesson as well? Or are we just going to run through and like say why we love and are obsessed with all of these products? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think we'll have the products up on screen. We, I can talk about why why I like them. Maybe you could say if you agree or disagree. And maybe I could filter in some of those historical facts yes. in between. Facts. We but if I remember them, though, <laughs> that, that's the thing. I, I you know, you know, I have to maybe I had to watch some of the old shows, uh, so, you know, just to make sure that I jog my memory a little bit because. Uh, well, I'm ready. You know, facts. You know, they kind of go out of my head, you know, once I'm on the show. Well, hopefully I remember some of the facts, too, because I feel like you, you've been spitting knowledge. And I feel like it makes people want to buy stuff more. Um, hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> I, hope, I hope. Or if they don't, at least they're getting a little bit of entertainment out of it as well. So. 100%. All the, uh, okay, so I'm going to, right, I'm going to start, Adri. So, again, by the way, guys, if you're just tuning in now, uh, this is totally new for the both of us. This is the first time. I'm pretty sure. Adri, we are actually, you know, we're record breakers here. Um, you know, I think that we're the first. I know. I haven't to... seen anyone else doing the live. I'm actually, like, kind of shocked that this is working so well. I'm, like, waiting to boot it off at, like, any minute. <laughs> Same. <laughs> this is actually working better than when I, when, I, when, I usually, when I usually just watch the stream. So, um, I know, right? Okay. Fingers and toes, right? Let's just, uh, fingers and toes here. Um, okay. So, I put the first product on the screen. And, um... I didn't. You would. You've seen this one before, actually. I'm uh, the really like obsessed with them, and like Jace is sitting in the background doing uh, his lines for an audition, um, and I think that he okay. us and these shorts, and I would kind of like to get them for him. <laughs> oh well, if you fancy getting them for him, well, you are entitled to that fifteen percent off 
live stream. Oh, God, I just spilled coffee on my tea. I got my jeans. I got so excited there. You do get the 15% off um, of the retail price. Huh? I said you're getting too excited, but you need to be a little bit less excited about these shorts. I know. I can't help it. I don't know if it's the coffee or the shorts or a combination of the two. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to put the coffee down for a second now, because I actually just washed these jeans, so I'm not very helpful here. Right, yeah, so these are the Polo Ralph Lauren tie-dye French Terry shorts, and uh, actually these are a steal, because they're pretty much already half price of what they were retailing at before. They're basically 100 bucks. I know, I was like looking at the price, and I was like, that can't be right, because mm. $98, and now they're $41. Right, but because I think it's coming towards the end of season summer sale now, so that was the original retail price. Then they've been knocked down because you know probably maybe the last couple of ones left in stock, and then it's the extra fifteen percent off. So actually, you're getting a discount on a discount, so it can't go wrong. And the reason why I like these so much is because of the uh, obviously for me it's that winning red, white, and blue co uh, color combo. Um, I'm as you know I'm a, I'm a massive patriot uh, for. <laughs> both America and the UK. And uh, I always just think these colours complement and go very well together. Yeah, I mean, you could wear them in England, you could wear them here. Um, I feel Mexico. like... Mexico? Mexico is red, white and green, though. Or oh, I see what you mean. Sorry, I thought... Or you can just... Mexico. You can literally wear them wherever, but... Um, yeah, yeah. I do like... No, sorry. I thought you were referring to the environments in which you can wear them rather than obviously related to the flag. Okay. But yeah, I get that now. Um, yeah, these are very cute. I would actually love like a sweatpant version of them. And they're just... Yeah, that would be great. What, like a sort of full length, full length, like jogger shorts. I feel or like... jogger trousers. What's that wrestler's name? Rick, Rick, Rick Flair? But I... He's so now eccentric like, wrestler, and I feel like so many like rappers and music like rap style all the time, and I feel like this is very like Ric Flair, which is very very trendy. Huh. Is it? Is he? Is he big on the mood boards? He's. I think he's big on. I mean, he. I think he's from the eighties. I can look it up just to confirm. I think I know who you're talking <laughs> about. That was he the one that always wore the eccentric hats as well. I don't know. Very Blonde hair, but I feel like this is like super on trend right now, um, especially for Gen Z. Gen Z is like very, very bold um, in their leg wear choice with like lots of crazy prints. But I feel like like perfect for, you know, like Gen Z would be all about it, but it's still like cool and like wearable enough for like our generation, us old millennials, elder millennials. Elder millennials. I believe, actually, I, I think I sent you a meme this week that we are now referred to as the Spice Girls generation. This is so, like, uh, you did. Yeah. We are, apparently, we're the Spice Girls generation. We're not we're called millennials any, any longer, guys. It's the Spice Girls generation. Well, and that's how I'm going to refer to us from now on. I love fair, so. oh, This is exactly what um, Ginger Spice would wear in 2021. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It wouldn't be a Union Jack dress. It would be uh, some tie-dye French Terry polo Ralph Lauren shorts. Exactly. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, thank you very much, user use Z4081, for joining in. Thank you for joining the party. Um, hi from Dallas. Hi, hi from Dallas. Thank you very much for joining. I've, I've been to Dallas uh, a number of times in my life, um, and I'd love to go once again. So uh, hopefully when I'm back in the States, I can uh, come, come, you know, maybe, I don't know, have a steak with you. Uh, ah. at the, yeah, and the rodeo. <laughs> God, I love the good rodeo there as well. Um, and actually, I've got my hold on one second. I've got my boots from. I've got my, I've got my Texas boots here as well. So oh, yeah. such a good. Can't go wrong. But you do oh. that. right. Yeah. So anyway, I'm getting distracted. Right. We've got to move <laughs> on, guys. So hold on. I'm going to go to the next. The, my next fave now, Adrian. This is the the next one that I quite liked uh from the previous shows that we've uh we've been hosting so this is the asker from fox uh men's uh, trouser i would say um it comes in a sort of like a, a light beige natural color like almost like a sand color i suppose you would say and again i think like it's a little bit more smarter for a summer look you know i can imagine one would want to wear these during like a dinner party or you know sort of drinks at someone's house you know preferably up in the hamptons um that and uh they 
they are a British brand as well. So as you know, Adria, I like to support British brands on the Barrow Shop site as well. Have to. So what I like about your other shows is like you give like a little bit of history facts and like you are so stylish. So how would you um, style like these and like the other stuff that we're talking about? Do you think that you can like give some style tips and like let us know? Oh gosh, it's my my dryer. Ignore it. Ignore it. All right. <laughs> This is live, guys. It's dangerously live, so anything can happen. <laughs> Dryer's going off. It can happen, just like your, your dryer could be going off. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, like, how would you style something like this? Like, what shoes would you wear, like, for the guys who are just trying to, like, get into style? Or, like, maybe someone who's trying to figure out um, how to style something a little bit differently or be, like, a little bit more adventurous or even just, like, tone it down for work, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. That, that's a really, really great question. So essentially, I always think with sort of like a sort of like a lighter trouser, it is generally more preferable to go for a, a lighter shoe color, preferably maybe one that matches or maybe one that's maybe slightly darker or lighter in intonation to the tra trouser color. Um, I think a lot of men m make vast mistakes in regards to their footwear. And actually, hopefully uh, in the future, maybe possibly we could be doing a, a live stream show in regards to you know shoes and uh, various other footwear God. um so i'd like to maybe get into that a little bit further but um i always I, you know you've got to be very careful i mean also the other thing that works very well with maybe a slightly more smarter trouser is is to pair it to make it a little bit more casual maybe and comfortable for the for the wearer to pair it with like a nice pair of converse or something similar to that I mean, yeah. like a sort of like a, a baseball shoe essentially yeah. um whether that's a high or, or a low top and actually i i'm always a little bit more partial to going down that route especially if i'm going to a party because sometimes maybe it can come across a little bit too formal when men do uh pair these trousers a uh, trousers such as this with say more formal leather shoes for instance yeah so, I, uh, I actually wouldn't have thought to like put it with like a converse that could be a hmm. look um and then like in terms of like jacket or like tops like what are you thinking like what looks cool um yeah yeah, well, I guess it's, it's really, again, it's, it's preferable to the, the environment. So, um, I mean, I suppose in England, sometimes in the evening it can get a little nippy. So uh, perhaps you probably want to take a, you know, you probably want to take a jacket or a, a blazer along. But again, I think you've got to be very careful if you're going to try and match trousers such as this uh, with this type of, of colour, not to try and um, either cla make it clash or have such a tone that's so similar to that beige mm. that it doesn't look right. It looks like you've put two two suits together that don't fit. So I think maybe if you're just going to buy the trousers alone and they don't come with a jacket, maybe it's more preferable to go for a slightly maybe more um, contrasting bold colour, perhaps. So, uh, I mean, one, one thing, actually, one thing I would say, so, so for instance, an olive green would work very well with, with, uh, with these types of beige trousers. And actually, something similar, and I think I've shown this before on the uh on the on one of our shows but like this is almost like a it's like an olive green safari jacket and um oh. this would go very well it would match very well with the with the beige trousers so again i think those those, com those it depends also what uh fabric and material as well because if you're wearing linen again that could also work quite well and of course i think a lot of gents hopefully should be having like a good bit of uh, linen trouser in their in their closet which is, I hadn't even worn this yet. <laughs> these, these, these are for my summer holidays. Um, so that, that's all coming up, guys. Um, in a few weeks, I will be in. Uh, I'll be live streaming from Mexico. From oh, places. oh, what a fun show that will be! You're going to make all of us jealous. Well, guys, you can come along. I mean, uh, all right. I might be there on my lonesome. <laughs> you might not. Sixteen days. You may not be so. Well, I may not be as well. I don't know. I don't know if she's listening or not. But anyway, we can move on. We can move on from that guy. So um, I'm, I'm going to move on to the next one. Actually, to be fair, this, these pair of trousers are a little bit cheaper. Different brand, but they do a very similar thing as well. So um, hopefully you can see this on screen. It's the front row men's casual trouser. And I believe these are such a steal as well, to be fair, because uh, they're only just under $30 with the live stream deal. And again, they do a very similar thing to the last pair that we are talking about in regards to the fact that they are uh, clean, 
a stylish but smart look as well. And again, I think you've looked really good with a good pair of, you know, Converse's similar colour to these, for instance. I think they'd work well, or like a plimsoll, for instance. Um, so, and then obviously styling that with, I mean, you could also, if you wanted to, we are talking about prints a little earlier, but you could certainly go for a good Hawaiian shirt as well. Never did any, anyone any wrong. That makes it look like, I feel like that is very, like, trendy, still, like, classic. Um, I do love these pants because, uh, oh, Jace is in the background. <laughs> Hi, Jace. <laughs> Can we get a cameo? No, okay. <laughs> um, Next time. But I love that, um, like, right now, what I'm trying to do is because, like, my wardrobe has not been updated since, like, pre-pandemic, like, long, long time ago. Everything. Yeah. Feels when out- was that? I don't even know anymore. Everything feels so outdated. And like, what I'm trying to do is like, I still love like the, whatever, the tie dye crotch print thing. That is fun. Like having a couple items like that in my wardrobe, like when I'm trying to like rebuild it right now and having a lot of these like classic pieces. So like majority of it is like classic, but then you have the pop. Um, but I feel like- yeah so great that you're showing like this like everyone can use it like my dad could wear that jace could wear it like anyone yeah. flexible to your wardrobe i, I mean I, yeah i think you're right i think it's a it's a it's a look that i feel like every every chap should certainly have in their closet to be fair um because they could certainly do come in handy and i have a number of trousers that are very similar to, to this product um on me right now and obviously back in the states i've got all my stuff um but <clears throat> But yeah, it's just a very easy staple look. Sorry, I need to have a bit more coffee, I think. <laughs> I'm getting uh, so caught up on these trousers, I can barely speak anymore. <laughs> I think I went down the wrong hole. Um, right, moving on from that then. Uh, and it's actually the last product. But again, it is that blue, white, and red color combo that we were speaking about earlier. I love those. And uh, this was from my, my short show. Not not short in duration. They're all half an hour, but obviously it was uh, it was in regards to short. Are you giving me hearts? No. Is that you? Oh, someone is. Okay, fine. <laughs> cool. Um, so uh, thank you, whoever, by the way, is interacting and giving me hearts. I really appreciate that. Hearts, avocados, claps, diamonds, emoji. Perfect. All, Keep all them coming, the, guys. All of the icons. Give it up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, these are the Baver Navy Bizarro striped shorts, and they're currently going for fifty one dollars. Um, and again, I really like the um, I really like these shorts a lot because I just feel like they are very practical for wearing on the beach at pool parties when you're going to your mates for drinks. You know, you could wear them still in New York to go to bars. I mean, you know, I've done all of that with very similar shorts and uh, you know swim shorts before. I mean. You know, again, there's a lot of flexibility within th- this type of product, essentially. Yeah. Also, like, I love the vertical stripe motion, whatever, like, chevroni. Because I always complain, like, as I said, I went running, so I'm getting back into it. Um, like, Good for you. Still working on my, my hot girl summer bod. It is not the end of summer. I refuse to let summer go for now. Um, but, you know, everyone... I feel like everyone's kind of in the same boat. Like you put on like a little extra weight during quarantine. Um, oh yeah. Like that is very slimming. Like any sort of like vertical line gives like an illusion of like you being like taller and leaner. And I'm all about that. So yeah. I feel like. Yeah. You're completely correct in regards to the fact that those vertical stripes certainly do please the eye and, and certainly can give a look that elongates mm-hmm. rather, rather than takes away from Generally, obviously, if you talk about uh, horizontal stripes, such as like Breton stripes, for instance, sometimes on certainly some guys that can uh, that can appear maybe a little bit misleading in regards to their true figure and form. Sometimes, you know, I see pictures of people wearing Breton stripes and maybe they can appear a little bit fuller than what who, who they really and what they really are. So, then, yeah, you know, it's not D- most flattering. Um, yeah, yeah. Definitely for the chaps that are a little bit larger in frame, I would always suggest going for more of a vertical stripe than a, than a horizontal stripe. Um, I think it's really important. But that's also not to say that guys shouldn't wear uh, prints in general. As you know, Adrian, I'm a big advocate for a good print. You are. And, uh, prince. I am, I am. 
Um, the fresh. And, uh, and, and, I, and it's really important, I think, that guys do have that type of variety within their wardrobe as well. You know, they're not just sticking to just bold, plain colours, i.e. something like white and black, for instance, but they are certainly expanding their range and plethora of, you know, tastes and styles. I think it's really important. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, and I don't think that you need to be, like, a really bold person to try something like this. Like, this is still, like... It's like a funky print but it's still basic enough you know that it's not yeah like maybe someone who would want to try the crotch <laughs> polo tie-dye might you're right more you're about earlier. um but i feel like anyone could really wear this like i said this seems like something like my dad could totally wear this or jace could totally wear this and make it cool um mm-hmm. But just curious, like, so how would you style this if you're going to drinks in the city? Like, still like a, yeah. maybe even like a, not like a day to night work, but like if you're in the office, a pool party. Yeah, or like pool party or just anything in general that like, yeah, you know, like people I, like going from place to place, like how would you style it, um, especially in the city? Yeah, that's, that's a serious question. I mean, I certainly, you know, when you have those Sunday brunches, for instance, uh, you know, in the summer, the heat of summer in July and August as we're in right now, you could certainly wear these to brunch, you know. You've gone out the night before. What am I going to wear? Oh, God, I'm running late. Quick, I want to whack on the Baver Navy Bizarro striped shorts. And, uh, and so you could certainly get away with that. And actually, you know, they are a little bit more fun as well, which is brilliant. But yeah. what I would suggest is, so I would have, because they're quite a bold, they're still quite a bold print. Uh, the other elements of my of my wardrobe for that day, of my look for that day, would be a little bit more plainer. So, for instance, I would probably just match some of the colours that are on the short, i.e., potentially wearing a white t-shirt like this chap is doing, um, or maybe even a, a, a navy t-shirt. Hi, Jace, in the back there. Oh. Hi. Hi, mate. How are you? All right? Ca- cameo from Jace. Um, so th- that's all right. I, I sort of go with that. I certainly. I, I know we were talking about earlier in regards to sort of the Gen Z younger generation certainly do the whole um, printing clash thing where they wear different types of prints. How do you, you know? So you've got the, I actually kind of huh? kind of love it. Sometimes it depends. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Is that like level three thousand of uh, like fashion styling, or can you yeah. like a more approachable way to do it? Like a yeah. way. I mean, right. I think if you're gonna if you're gonna go to that direction, then you've got to go all out. You know, it's it's all or nothing. So I mean, and there's certainly lots of uh, Gen Z uh, people that I know. Um, you know, I mean, they don't just stop with clothes; it's with the hair as well. You know, you got to get the dye dye hair. Well, let's stop it short. Got to commit. You've got to commit, guys. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think you know that's one way of wearing it. But certainly the other way, as you said, for a guy that's maybe slightly less adventurous to buy uh, a hero print or a staple print and then pair it with um, slightly more toned down attire with the rest. So it stands out. That's why you call it a hero print, essentially. Oh, I didn't know it was called a hero print. Yeah. I, maybe it's a British thing. I don't know. Maybe that's, fun, maybe that's... that's a fun fact, you know. Yeah. History. But, you know, you're always hitting us with the facts, which is, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, again, you know, talking about facts history, I've got to sprinkle some historical facts in here during the show at some point, Adri. So obviously I mentioned a few shows ago that these shorts, shorts are actually military, uh, British military wear. Um, and they came about uh, around uh, the sort of 1940s, actually, when obviously, you know, the British occupation were in slightly warmer climates and it wasn't that suitable for them to be wearing trousers. So, um, you know, it's, they, they cut the lower third of the knee of the trouser off and uh, lo and behold you got short and obviously you know to this day I mean I don't know what you do but when my uh, jeans for instance start having big holes in the knees I you know and and, and the rest are fine I, I usually just chop off the you, lower the lower third and like, you got a pair of shorts you can't get rid of like a good pair of jeans like they're always pretty much always salvageable and like give it new life um I can't mm. that you know the troops were wearing shorts like these or jean cutoffs that would have been um, that, that would have been, well, what would that <laughs> yeah i don't think they were wearing shorts like these because uh i mean i think they, they were, i don't think these would be the best uh shorts of subterfuge basically but um alas if they could they would uh but um 
No, and again, you know, I think we're talking about you're right in regards to jeans as well, about they 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 are very heavily salvageable for the denim. And um, again, I think in one of my previous shows, I think it was one of uh, doing about trousers, for instance. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had one product. It was a, um, a men's Japanese jeanswear brand, and they specialize in I think it's called Boro, B O. R O and it's the idea that you can if you have say holes in your jeans where your knees are for instance then you use another piece of denim fabric to stitch above it and you create the sort of the patch motif hmm. so that's right so you can always repurpose vintage jeans if you want to go that way i mean unfortunately i'm not very good with the sewing machine so uh yeah I, uh, well i did mention in the comments either last week or the week before i have like um some levi's jeans that are men's and they fit so well on the leg and for years i've actually been meaning to go get them like altered so they fit like the crotch area because it's like I, i'll put like a belt and then it's just like it looks mm -hmm. like a whatever uh paper whatever paper bag waist is that what they call it the yeah the bag, yeah, yeah like <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, it does look it looks fire from like mid thigh down, but like the crotch area needs to be realtered. Um, but oh, they're such a good pair, and it's good to know that you can do so much with it, and you can, you know, change it up, uh, provided you find a good tailor. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're completely correct. I mean, you can do, you can actually do a lot in regards to amending jeans. And I, and actually, what you're saying, I think the only problem with uh, women wearing, what well, women wearing men's jeans or their boyfriend or husband's jeans is, yeah, the the crotch area, the seat, uh, usually uh, needs to be taken in. But obviously, you know, that is a look onto itself. I mean, that's where we get the boyfriend jean from, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, these are like very, very boyfriend jeans. These are like, these are like real man friend jeans. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sure they look uh, great. Uh, by, by the way, just talking of which, uh, thank you very much, user UZ4081, uh, in regards to saying that they love, love your style. I imagine I maybe our style collectively, but but I'm not sure. I think he might he might have just dipped in, and if he didn't, we thank you for joining, whoever you are. And we love the comments um, and the heart. Yes. Yes. Um, if if anyone has any questions whatsoever about any of the products that we were just speaking about over the last nearly half an hour, please do let us know in the comment box below and we will try to the best of our ability um, together combined to answer any of your questions. So, uh, but Adri, this has actually been brilliant. The I... fact that we were able to make this work. Oh, now, oh my gosh, now we can like collaborate and come up with oh. a cool shoot shows and like blast it out so everyone can watch our fun filled half an hour of show. I know, I love it. If anything, now it's not long enough. Now, now we need a full hour. Hour? Oh. <laughs> right, well, we'll have to speak to the uh, Veroshop HQ to see if we can oh. work that, that one out. Take it to the top is what we need to do. Why stop an hour? Let's do a full, Dead. full length, hour and a half feature length <laughs> We can do film. Like a marathon of just like... Oh my God. That, that... Veroshop, I'm sure they'll be fine with that. They'd probably love that. They'd love that. And, and I just think more products, though. We could go through every... We could do one full-length episode of Dream where we start from the top to the bottom. A through Z of products? No, no. I meant from the, from the hair care to the oh. foot footwear. Oh, my God. That's such a good idea. Oh, my... We have to do... Okay, um, Aaron. Okay. This, you're going to be receiving an email shortly with um, a lot of ideas. But this is... I want so it now. This is so fun. And it's like, I feel like, I mean, us being like, you know, a guy and a girl, it does give like two different perspectives, which um, I think is good for people who are shopping or like a lot of people I've noticed are like shopping for like a husband or like a girlfriend, things like that. So I think it adds like a really cool perspective that um, you weren't able to get from other shows. So yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Uh, no, I totally agree with you. Uh, you know, there's lots of occasions where I'm sure lots of guys go into stores and they, they need a sort of a second opinion on something, you know, and usually that's the sh shop assistant's role. But I mean, generally, it's always helpful if you've got a, a girlfriend with uh, good, some good taste exactly. to help you out. So um, I try with know. But I don't know anymore. Or boyfriend, or boyfriend. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, look, Adri, I think actually we've now come towards the end of the show. Uh... 
I know it went too quick. <laughs> so much fun. It's been so much fun. Uh, well, look, guys, thank you very much for watching and joining us here today. Uh, watching Adrian's show earlier and mine right now, and hopefully we've inspired you in regards to some of the products that we've spoken about in regards to our recap. But uh, we will see you at the same time, same place next week. Guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Adri, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm a few hours ahead of you, but I will. I will indeed. Well, All right, guys. Well, thank you very much, and I'll uh, see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.